Hello everyone, my name is Giovanni and this is the presentation of the Capstone project for the Advanced Business Analytics Specialization, a course offered by the University of Colorado Bounder in partnership with Coursera. The project discussed in this presentation is a simulation optimization based portfolio recommendation to invest $10 million with Landing Club which is a peer-to-peer -peer lending company. This is the agenda of the presentation. Initially, I'll talk briefly about how the analysis was conducted, the main steps taken, following by the results of the cluster analysis, and finally, the simulation and optimization analysis. These are all the stages of the analysis. First, it was conducted an exploratory data analysis in which it was performed a series of procedures of data cleanup and transformation to improve the results of the predictive models which was a second step taken. In this phase, was performed classification and regression modeling, like neural networks, linear regression, and tree-like models. Next, it was performed a k-means cluster analysis, and the normalized data were used to compare different characteristics of each group. And finally, the simulation and optimization models were built, and two different scenarios were evaluated. However, in this presentation, only the findings for the clustering and simulation and optimization analysis will be presented. The document attached to this presentation contains all the technical information for all the results. The cluster analysis revealed three distinguished major clusters of borrowers. These groups were then classified based on social class, and the three major groups were identified as lower, middle, and upper classes. The classification was based on annual income and various other loan statuses, like interest rate and amount of borrowed money. For example, the lower class pays the highest interest rate, and borrow the least amount of money. And on the other hand, the upper class has the highest annual income and pays a reasonable interest rate. And in between these clusters, there are other two, which were classified as middle lower and middle upper classes. Thus, it was identified five clusters. Based on the cluster analysis, it was carried out a simulation and optimization analysis to evaluate two scenarios of investment. Scenario one refers to a fixed amount of $2 million in each cluster. In scenario two, it was built an optimization model to allocate the funds aiming to maximize the sharp ratio function, which measures the return of an investment compared to its risk. In short, the model decided which cluster to invest in $10 million. After it was reported the expected total return after one year, and the chance the return will exceed $0.5 million. The graphs show the minimum, the mean, which is the expected return, and the maximum values forecasted by the models. It is clear that scenario one, which allocates equal amounts of $2 million, led to horrible results. The expected return was uh, minus $1 million. Uh, on the other hand, scenario two, in which the optimization model was employed, led to a much more reasonable result of an expected return of $1.3 million. So in which cluster to invest in? Only the cluster of lower and middle lower classes was selected as good candidates by the model. Cluster one with the amount of $7.5 million and cluster two with the amount of $2.5 million. As the cluster analysis showed, these clusters represent people who borrow less money and have a low annual income therefore paying more in interest. Even though the percentage of chart off customers for these clusters is higher than the other clusters, the model is still identified then as good candidates, mainly because due to the high interest rates that the people from these clusters pay. So to wrap up the presentation, the results presented was based solely on the sharp ratio function, which despite being a good measurement of investment performance, it is adjusted by the risk. Thus, to put the results into more context, I suggest to perform other analysis aiming to maximize the expected return. And then, along with the cluster analysis and the already made sharp ratio based optimization model, to put everything together and to make a decision with more context. Finally, other technical information regarding the analysis can be found on the doc attached to this presentation.